Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to this video. Today we're creating this gorgeous kimono and pants set. So let's begin. For this tutorial, I'll be using a 60 inch wide fabric and approximately three meters of it. Now I've already laid out my fabric on the table, but to demonstrate how I folded it, I will show you using this smaller fabric. Begin by folding the fabric in half to your desired uh, length. Double check your length measurement. Once you've done this, open up the fabric and fold it again in half, just like so. Then you fold it in half again. And this is how I laid out the fabric on the table. So now you have the fabric laid out on the table and we'll go through the measurements. So measure and mark three and a half inches for the neckline. Then measure down 10 inches and mark it. Join the two points together. On the other side, measure and mark 10 inches and this will be the armhole. From this point, come in by two inches and mark again. Create a small curve, just like so. Next, we'll be cutting the neckline measurements. Only cut the top folded layer. Carefully cut the neckline measurements. For the back neckline measurement, measure down one inch and cut. Next, cut open the top folded edge only, all the way to the bottom. Reposition all the edges properly again. For the armhole, cut through all four layers all the way to the bottom of the fabric. Now on the top two layers only, we'll cut out a curve. For this, measure approximately 15 inches from the bottom up. Cut out a curve from this measurement on the top two layers of the fabric only. Once you're done, open up the kimono and this is how it should look. Gather the sides and pin them right sides together. And that completes your kimono pattern. For the ties, cut a 60 by 4 inch wide strip. Pin it right sides together. And for the pants, use a stretchy fabric. 
fold the fabric in half use an existing trousers as a pattern position this carefully on the folded edge cut around the trousers leaving enough uh, for seam allowance Pin the curved sides Fold your fabric in half again Use the same trousers as your pattern This time flip it to record the second measurement This is because the back and the front aspects of the trousers are measured differently Cut around the trousers again, leaving enough for seam allowance. Pin around the curved sides. And here you have your front and your back trouser pattern pieces complete. For the trousers waistband, cut a 4 inch wide strip. Now for the stitching, begin by hemming the armhole. And this is how it should look. Now stitch the sides right sides together. and do this for both sides of the kimono when you open up the kimono this is what you should have Now complete the kimono by hemming the front opening and the bottom of the kimono. Now stitch the belt right sides together. Be sure to leave one end open. Once you're done, turn the belt inside out. Close stitch the end.
Now take the belt, fold it in half and cut it. Now pin each tie on the lower part of the neckline. Do this for both sides. Stitch the ties into position. Once complete, this is how it should look. Now for the detailing on the armhole, we need to measure out an elastic band. So stretch the elastic to your desired length and shrinkage. Once you're happy, cut out two pieces of the elastic. Now pin the elastic at the top of the sleeve on the wrong side of the fabric. Mark out on the fabric where to stitch the elastic. This will help guide you when you're stitching on the sewing machine. So stitch the elastic on the wrong side of the fabric. Use the markings made earlier, pull as you stitch and use a zigzag stitch and this is how it should look after. It creates this cute gathers and I think it just adds a special touch to the kimono. Now onto the pants, stitch the crotch seams first using a zigzag stitch. Once you've done this, open up the pants and pin them right sides together. Begin by pinning the inner seams first and stitch these into position. Once you're happy, you can repeat the same process for the side seams on both sides of the trousers. Turn the trousers inside out and this is what you should get. Now onto the waistband, measure and cut out your desired length. Then place these ends right sides together and stitch them together using a zigzag stitch. Next, fold the band in half, wrong sides in. Then pin the band around the trouser waist. Once you're done, stitch the band in place using a zigzag stitch.
Next, hem the trousers to complete the outfit. And here's your final look. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.